Hey everyone, today I'm here in the shop and I'm gonna show you how to properly install your guitar strap pin or button on your guitar and what we feel is the correct position to put that strap pin for better playing and a better look for the guitar strap that hopefully you've gotten from Ethos Custom Brands. You can see some behind me and today I'm also playing an old Alvarez guitar that I've had for well over 30 years and this guitar is strung in a Nashville high string uh, stringing so it's really high if you didn't hear it sounds like a 12 string but I've had this guitar for again well over 30 years and the strap pin has always been underneath and around the underside of the neck bar and so today I'm going to remove that and put it in what I feel to be is the correct position for the strap pin. But today, if you're tuning in, I really would love for you to go below this video and hit the like and share buttons because this is a very informative video that is going to help you when you first buy your guitar or if you've got an older guitar, you've been playing for years or you're just starting out, we would think that this is the best position for not only your playing, and for the guitar, but also for the strap that it definitely becomes a part of your look. So let's do it. Okay, so now I'm back at uh, one of our cutting tables here in the shop where we make these guitar straps. And I think it's very important that we again understand that uh, we make guitar straps and part of the, the uh, testing that we do is we actually test the straps whenever we make them, whenever we design them, we put them on the guitar. And that's part of the reason for my video today is that I want you to see the twist that the strap kind of goes through whenever the strap button or strap pin is in this position. So again, it's kind of under and around the other side of the neck, which is a common, in fact, it's ordinary position for strap pins across the board and they do that so the guitar strap is kind of locked underneath the neck bar and so it won't as easily come off or pop off again the problem is is the the twist that occurs in the lower part of the strap just doesn't look as good and in my opinion it doesn't play as easy as far as when you're playing a three hour set or a you're playing in a concert or you're just playing in the studio or around the house, you want to feel comfortable and you want the guitar to be able to move freely as it is across your shoulder and on your body. So on the back side you see here a normal position of the pin. Uh, this is a little larger end pin because it is part of a pickup system. Um, so I'm going to take this strap off and I'm going to show you guys, show everyone today, how to remove this pin and place it in the proper position or what we feel is the proper position. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here we go. First of all, you have to have a Phillips screwdriver generally that is small enough to fit in the, the small hole here that, that the end pin has in it where the screw actually is. So this one is perfect. So I'm gonna show you how to undo this pin. Notice I have the guitar laying on a piece of leather. And if you have a piece of carpet or a rug, anything that won't scar your guitar. Again, this guitar's been around with me a while. You probably see a lot of signatures on it. Those aren't necessarily famous people. There are a few famous people on there that I didn't know were gonna be famous when they signed it. Pretty cool. This guitar was with me in Nashville when I lived over there in the mid 90s. Okay, so you see uh, there's a hole there where this pin, the strap button was put in. What we're gonna do is we're going to place the pin in the, the heel here of what I call the neck bar. I'm not sure of the exact terminology on that, but we're gonna place that pin right there, centered. So before we drill a pilot hole, which is what we have to do, we want to first 
give a the, the pilot hole a, a chance to be centered. So I'm going to list these tools out and show you exactly what I'm using to do this. These are tools that I actually have in the leather shop for doing leather work, but they work great for this. The first tool you're going to use beyond the screwdriver that you saw us use to get the strap pin out is what we call an awl. This is just a sharp, almost like an ice pick. If you have an ice pick that's good and sharp, you can use that. But this is an awl that we're going to use to kind of center up and pre-punch the hole where we want to put the screw or the pilot hole for the screw that we're going to drill into the heel of this neck. All right, so I've got a little bitty hole put there. Now, next thing you need is a drill, and you can this be a power drill or wired, you know, with a wire, or it can be a cordless drill like this. And then you need a drill bit, just a wood drill bit that is smaller than the diameter of your screw. And as long as it's smaller, it can be whatever kind of drill bit, but it needs to be smaller than the diameter of the roundness of the screw that you're going to use, the wood screw that you're going to use. And it, so it does have to be a wood screw. Okay, so now we have our drill bit chucked up and we're going to take our pre-punched all punched hole and center up that drill bit in that hole. And we're just going to ease the drill bit into the wood. It's kind of leveled up as you can be. Not really pressing, just letting the drill do the work. You saw I went to the, about the depth of the, of the drill, the, the tool's end here. So now we have our pilot hole centered up in the heel there. Now we're ready to simply install the button. So go ahead and put the screw in the button. Take your screwdriver that you used before and this will take some pressure that you have to add, but the hole will keep it lined up as it goes in, and then you're good to go. It's a little elbow grease, and I would just suggest not using the drill on this part. Too many times, you'll be pushing on the drill, and the screw will shoot out to the side, and you'll run the drill into the back of your $2,000 guitar or your $500 guitar. Either way, it's a mess. So always use a handheld screwdriver and just keep threading that screw in there until it bottoms out. So as you can see, there was a hole left from where the strap pin was, the old position. You can fill this hole yourself or you can take it to your luthier or a woodworker. Anybody who works with wood will be able to put a pin piece of wood in there with glue and then sand it off and then put a little stain on it and that will fill in that hole or you can just leave it uh, whichever you desire uh, or you can actually put another pin in there if you want uh, just to have options for your strap strap pins and now we have the strap pin in a correct position or what we feel to be the correct position again for better playing and a better look for your guitar strap. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the Imperial guitar strap from Ethos. Very, very cool strap. This is a showstopper. Got a couple of cool conchos on it. These are cross conchos. And this is a, a matte black alligator print. And it's just really a cool looking guitar strap with our Merlot leather on the ends, adjustable up to 56 inches in our standard lengths. And this is a, a three inch uh, Imperial and uh, just a great looking strap. But let me show you how we put the guitar strap on now. You see how the strap lays flat against, against my body. And anything that's in there, like a lot of times we'll put initials 
uh, logos, your name, right here in this position. So again, it makes for a nice flat canvas for you to display, again, your logo, your initials, your name, and it just lays better. And the guitar really pivots nicely. There's no binding of it. And I've played for years this way. Some luthiers might contest me on the correct position of the strap pin, uh, but I believe this to be the best position for better playing and a better look for the straps. And again, that's why we are showing you this video and doing this is because we sell a lot of guitar straps and we want you to display them proudly and we want you to uh, have a great look when you're on the stage in concert, at church, in the studio, or just playing for friends around the house, around a bonfire, whatever. Your strap is a part of who you are. And this, uh, the way we make our guitar straps, they fit onto the strap pins very, very tightly. Uh, the thickness of our leather is not too thick, but it's just thick enough to really hold on to the strap pins really well. So again, thank you for watching this video. Please share and like, leave comments. If you wanna check us out, go to ethoscustombrands.com, ethosguitarstraps.com, or you can email us at support at ethoscustombrands.com and find out more about our guitar straps and all the other products that we are offering. And stay tuned, there's gonna be some really cool videos coming up and some more new designs coming out very soon. So stick with us, we'll see you soon.